welcome. Mid-Autumn is currently in early access. The game is in development, so story and gameplay may change. You might see bugs, placeholder UI, or features that don't exist yet. Enjoy your time in Nambo Quay. Some things to be aware of. The game currently includes three to five total biomes. There's much to discover. Controller support is experimental. Parts of the UI might not co support controllers. Only mouse and keyboard can be remapped. Saving is also untested. Press M five times. Pressing M five times will open up a debug menu. So just so you know, when you play the demo of this, because this is mid-autumn, there is a free-to-play demo for this. Um, but the game itself releases into early access next week. I highly recommend you play this with keyboard and mouse. Because with the controller support as of right now it is as they said experimental and it's very wonky like it kind of messes up the um the ui and things like that so my suggestion is for now try it with the keyboard and mouse because i tried it with controller before and i had issues but when I ended up restarting the game and playing with keyboard and mouse, everything worked better. So you want to play this one with keyboard and mouse until they actually work out the issues with the controller. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the game. But again, this is mid-autumn and it releases next week on the night. But there is a free-to-play demo so you can try the demo to see if you like the game. Um, so we're gonna go through. And like, and I already started. <laughs> but, um, so you guys can kind of see the beginning of the way do it. After finishing college without a single internship, I needed some time to figure out my next steps. So I decided to visit my grandmother in my father's hometown of Nambo Key, California, to see if I could crash there for a while. When my grandmother mentioned I'd have to pay rent, I thought I'd be running errands across town. Instead, she gave me something called the Lunar Staff and introduced me to a talking terracotta statue. Oh, and also the spirit world is real and I'm its guardian and its entrance is in our basement. <gasps> Not everyone is able to move in this cursed place. Uh, I either succeed here or I have to find a job in the city. I'll try to make this guardian thing work. <sighs> if you have the metal, to see, then I will guide you. No advance. Huh? Excellent. Uh. Listen well, and you will draw blood before meeting your final fate in the earth. Uh. You must move quickly if you want to survive. The Lunar Stone provides blood for every being in this realm. It is the heart, and all of us are merely its capillaries. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, this lunar blood looks kind of dangerous. Should I avoid it? Uh, Your weapons needs to respond to the be responding to the energy. It should absorb any lunar blood that gets too close. In fact, huh? let's absorb the lunar blood in this realm before we move on. What we really want to avoid are the pests that the lunar blood will attract. Huh? Those creatures cannot be harmed by either sword nor spear. Oh. I guess I just die then? Oh. In the last room, the lunar blood seemed to empower your weapon. I've got an idea. Allow your staff to absorb the energy within the room and then reflect the power back upon your enemies. Wait, give me a second. I was correct. The lunar blood in these chambers powers your staff's attacks. Unless there is no energy to be found in this room. Uh, Unless the lunar staff cares not where this energy comes from. Um, Maybe I can absorb this creature's own attack and reflect it back.
energy in this place protects its own by harming the li- but harms the living. Uh, Only five seconds within your body and already the lunar blood has rotted. Uh, the lunar staff can make use of rotten blood, but it will extract the total of your health. A grenade is only useful when it is thrown quickly. Okay. Maybe we were supposed to die. I'm thinking maybe we were supposed to. Gift box, Maggie. Bye, room. I'll be back. <laughs> you got clobbered again. Oh. Yes, grandmother. <laughs> You'll get the hang of crowd control eventually. <gasps> There's some Zongzi on the patio table if you want some. Huh. Thanks. <laughs> You've got the look in your eye like you want to say something. Speak up, child. Huh. Why me? Um, you just told me about the existence of the magical 24 hours ago. Of the magic 24 hours ago, and now you're making me fight real demons? Uh, Surely there's someone out there who's a better fit for the job. Uh, if you don't want to work, then you can find your own apartment. Huh? Um, I'll go clear out the pest. Get yourself some refreshment. I think you'll like what we have in stock today. I don't think I have any money. <laughs> I don't have no money. Ah, town's still waking up. <gasps> so you survived. Um, disappointed? <sighs> no, for you proved yourself at. Um, I also died in that. Most warriors do. If your plans don't involve dying, become familiar with avoiding the lunar rot. 
Oh. Once it takes hold of you, your time in the spirit world is numbered. Let's try triggering it on purpose here, safe. During her tenure, your grandmother would say it was the most vital information a practitioner can wield. Huh. Grandmother said that. Why can't she tell me herself? times I have to get knocked out, Grandmother wants these caves squeaky clean. Huh? Being able to accept you defeat makes you better than most warriors um, I've met. How many warriors have you uh, met? I was reduced along 800, alongside 800 others in my district. Uh, Why? It's not uh, What is your name? Um, it's Robin. Uh, I will not forget Robin. Okay. this gift box as my hand brushes the outside of the box two ancient looking spirits burst into view around me. <sighs> you've gone too far this time brother and i would appreciate it if you would butt out of my business sister huh. i thought these guys might be dangerous but they're just bickering and they even listen huh. to me you there the peasant huh. is he talking about me huh. eyes up here Bye. Bye. Ugh. We are not going to drag another child into one of our scuffles. Toshi. Huh? You do remember what happened to the last client. That was a fluke. <laughs> this one will be perfectly fine. I'm sure of it. Huh? Wait, the last client? What happened? Ugh. I'm not interested in your wager. <laughs> Sounds like a loser's admission. Aww. They're just ignoring me. <laughs> It's better than fighting each other directly. After all, we don't get any more chances at this whole unlike thing. The rules are the same. We offer gifts to the peasant and which one and see which one they will accept. Um, Can I accept neither? Huh. No. <laughs> he is serious. He will bar you your way for it otherwise. <sighs> hmm. Considering that, I know that you would make the right choice. Oh. I like the color blue, so I'm going with blue. <laughs> full house, attacking with full ammo shields you temporarily. Okay. He's got some money. Okay.
we have no way to clear the rod, unfortunately. So we're gonna probably die soon, but that's fine. Knock knock! Sitting at my grandmother's patio table, drinking her tea and eating one of her zongzi. Oh. He seems more comfortable in her house than I am. Huh. His ease disarms my surprise. Huh. Hello. Huh. Hi. Um. Could you explain why you're here while my grandmother isn't around? Huh. No problem. I'm her homestay. Oh. My name is Nadine. I'm pleased to finally meet you, Robin. Huh. You're serious. <laughs> I'm her grandkid. And convincing her to let me bunk here was like pulling teeth. Oh. My mom did Miss Lamb a big favor a while back, so she's letting me use her house for a bit. <laughs> I'll be sleeping in the spare bedroom. Wish you could find me in the underground. Huh. I don't mind having a guest in the house. Um. I really have to go, but I'll be seeing you around. <laughs> Bet on it. I think you'll like what we have in stock today. Let's do the jasmine tea. Did we do it? That's it for today. Come back tomorrow. Okay, so we did it. But yeah, this one, once they get the, um... Did you give this to Miss <laughs> Placeholder Portrait Company? So that's awesome. Kind of scary, <laughs> but awesome. Uh, Miss Lamb, the woman has me a small escort. Sure. Who should I say it's from? Yes, tell her that it's from the Society of the One Eyed Goat. <laughs> sure, I'll do that. Uh. Well, I ever get used to all of the gra my grandmother's were associates. This is for you. Okay. But. We're going to wrap this one up. And that is mid-autumn. Again, this is coming into early access next week on the 9th. Um, but there is a free-to-play demo of the game currently. Again. I'm. The next time I play this, I'm hoping they'll have a better grip on the actual controller support because playing rogue lights with keyboard and mouse is a little difficult for me so i'm hoping that the controller support will be you know up to the par but when you do play this until they said they've worked out the kinks with the controller you want to play this with keyboard and mouse um, again when i tried it with controller i had some issues so I would I would re 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 blah, 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 blah. I would recommend playing it with keyboard and mouse just starting off. And again, this is an early access game, so you are going to run into bugs. This does not mean that this is the final cut of the game. Um, when it does come out in early access next week, um, so there are going to be bugs and things that need to be worked on as well. Um, but other than that, I like the game. I just would prefer to play it with a controller and right now with the controller being kind of buggy and iffy you know I would recommend playing it with mouse and keyboard until like I said they fix the issues with the controller I mean it's not like they didn't tell you that the controller support was experimental it says it right there so um, but that is mid-autumn and um, I really enjoyed that one that one's a lot of fun so.